Very good. Here's an intro. Hey, this, this, this is John Revelator. Just they are an asshole. You put them in a dick bag. Put them in that bag. <laughs> There's a bag. Uh, this is the dick bag. Uh, you know, we're equal opportunity offenders here. If we had the hoe bag, we got to have the dick bag. Again. Um, <sighs> so weird, man. <laughs> There should be there should be that for a few there should be hair on for those who are watching there's a dick on this side and there's a dick on your side uh, there's no dick here and here so it's just a dick and a dick <laughs> so if it were if this were my dick it would have hair here but none here because I'm rocking Harvey Dent again uh, I may be cool with some of these people they may be dicks anyway I preface that so if my name's on there I am a dick and I'll throw myself in the dick bag that's made out okay. of a big dick if they're cool they stay out if they're a dick they go and pull him in. he's a fucking dick Taz Taz I think he would agree he's a dick Bubba again like I said he was a dick to a lot of people again he would say he was Sabu. a dick <sighs> that's a tough one I've never seen him be a dick to anybody however uh, and I never told you this Sabu uh when you jumped off the R and the R fucking slipped on the raw fucking thing that we did, the ECW yeah. invasion, um, I really believe since Team Taz was supposed to catch him, he fell short of the mark. Uh, Team Taz didn't catch him, even though he fell short. And little known fact, I was in the back of Team Taz, and my job was to domino Chris Chetty into the aisle so he could throw Mikey Whipwreck back into the ring. Although none of these guys that were, Roke wasn't there. Uh, Never really, I think he receded everybody from Team Taz after that because I remember getting stiffed a bunch of times and beat up a few times. And I think he receded me for not catching him, even though it wasn't my job to catch him. So, Sabu, I didn't, wasn't supposed to catch you. And if it's true, I have a feeling, I'm not saying that you did it on purpose. I have a feeling that you receded me for months after that. Mm. So, I love you to death. I really do. But for that instance, if it is true, New Jack. I think, uh, again, a lot of people will debate. Um, I, well, everybody has a story. Um, again, I got, uh, I got nothing personal, but everybody knows it. Raven. Oh, Raven, another one of my favorites. Love him to death, but there was a time where he was undrivable with. I was in the car with him. I couldn't even take him anymore. If I could have thrown him out in the middle of a fucking doing 70 miles an hour or even 55 miles an hour, I would have done it. Just because he talks so much? He, he just had to eat. He was always getting his heat. Uh, you know, uh, would stop and eat, and he couldn't stop at McDonald's. Let's stop at Applebee's. Let's stop at fucking Fuddruckers. Let's stop here. Let's stop there. Let's eat for three hours. Hey, hey, you know, you know, get here. If we get to the building late, ah, just put the heat on me. Just put the heat on me. Get to the building. Why were you guys late? I'm fucking doing and shutting her out, fucking talking to this one. So he would just throw us under the bus. So yeah, we He must have been making a fortune over there with as much as he was eating. He must have been, because I wish I would have had a fucking fraction of that contract, because he would fucking eat. Stevie. Stevie, one of my top ten best friends in the world, probably top five. Um, love him to death, but if you ever been out with him, if you ever been, if you ever been slightly overweight on the beach in Wildwood, New Jersey, and you walked by Stevie Richards, who's probably A, videotaped you, calling you Wasquash, or yelled at you, hey, P90X, it fucking works! Earthquake, earthquake. Then you would say he's a dick. Trump. I don't even fucking care. Fuck him, he's rich. Steve Carino. <laughs> Steve Carino, he's a dick. Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber is a fucking fag and a dick. Roadkill. Roadkill, the biggest dick that's going to go in this bag of all time. And again, one of my favorites, but he's a dick. He knows he's a fucking dick. He actually, he actually prides himself in being a dick. Meanie. Meanie was a dick. Again, I have, but I have to go on the preference that me and him had heat previously. So just like Sabu, who I have a feeling stiff me because those are guys didn't catch him on the fucking R. Based on our previous engagement, even though we squashed heat, Meanie goes in the bag. Nova. Wow, Roadkill, you've just been topped as the biggest dick. <laughs> and a politicker to boot. <laughs> Innovator. Innovator of politicking and fucking kayfabe story abuse. <clears throat> Chris Chetty. Chris Chetty. Like I said, I, I can't speak enough about this guy on camera. A lot of people met him. You know the truth. He's a dick. Pipple Anthony. Anthony, what's that one? Gary Wolf or Anthony? Deadwood. 
Anthony yeah, Pitbull too. Yeah. Yeah. He uh, he yeah. shit on me uh, in in uh, in a. Uh, he shit on me in a uh, building when I was trying to hook up my first girl. He said, if you fucking, you don't get girls, you're a green ring boy. And he shit on me to my face. And then when he came back for ECW Arena, him and uh, Pitbull number one to put over me in Roadkill, they deadweighted us on everything. We sold all, I bumped for everything they had. They didn't sell anything we did. And deadweighted to finish. Dick. You're dead. But just because you're dead doesn't mean you're immortalized like in a Kurt Cobain, Biggie Smalls kind of way. You were a dick to me in fucking, the, in real life, you're probably a dick in the afterlife. Dead dick. Johnny Ace. And I don't say this because I'm a politicker. I threw Stephanie McMahon in the whole bag. Johnny Ace fucking fired me. He had to. It's his job. I was going to get fired sooner or later anyway. I actually have no problem with Johnny Ace. Lance Storm. Lance Storm. Uh, he was cool with me in ECW. He took a, he took, kind of took a shit on me in OVW when they sent me in Roadkill down there. Uh, it always rubbed me the wrong way. Dick. Dick. Whipwreck. Holy shit. Uh, Nova, I don't know. It's close. Whippersnapper, I'll steal the move. You're a bigger dick. Punk. Again, um, a lot of the peanut gallery like me to put him in this bag. I personally don't have an experience with him, but based on everybody else's experience, like I said, everybody I know, three out of four don't like him, and he'd probably agree he's a dick. Vince. Vince McMahon. Um... Again, I, I had very limited dealings with him, um, but when I did talk to him, he was really cool. Uh, and it's not a political move. I just he's never a dick to me. Uh, I, I guess if you want to look at it as a standpoint of he, I don't know. I don't have nothing. I can't really even come up with anything. Okay, so he stays out. Kevin Dunn. Kevin Dunn. Kevin Dunn. Kevin Dunn. Kevin Dunn's the uh, producer he's for a the. Dick. Okay. Shane. Shane McMahon. actually. It's uh, always cool to me. Shane Douglas. I mean, come on, you got the whole front office over there out of the dick bag. Because I'm fucking political. I'm trying to get a job. All right. I'll be fucking. Well, at least, well, at least. I, I, I've already. I, I, I'm. You know, I'm, I'm seven years over their fucking thirty and over year limit, but I'm hoping to get a job backstage. No, I really because I talked to Shane three times. He was actually joked around me. He's pretty good. Cool. I actually saw him at the Dreamers' wedding. He was awesome. Shane Douglas is one of my favorite. I fucking love Shane. Shane could actually probably shit on my chest, and I would fucking let it go. Actually, he did. He took the bear back and renamed it the franchiser, and I still fucking love him. <laughs> Bradshaw. <laughs> Uh, everybody fucking, I, I, like I said, I have limited dealings with him too, but everybody fucking has a story about Bradshaw being a dick, so he's a dick. The situation. I will fuck him in the ass with that black dildo that was in that bag, and fucking, I actually fucking, yeah, he's just a fucking Such dude. passionate heat about because the star of the, the Jersey Shore. The Jersey Shore, because I really should have been the star of the Jersey Shore, because it would have been fucking hysterical. It would have been more watchable. But not I mean, impressed by, by well, his you know, abs? Uh, no, I'm not really impressed by his abs or his fucking... Uh, let me tell you something. Um, he's gay. Uh, and I'm pretty good at this because my, uh, my mother ran a hair salon. So I grew up running a hair salon my whole life. So I'm pretty good at kick, picking out gay people. I'm actually fucking I excel at it. And I, you know, that's why, probably why I, I don't really have a problem taking shots at gay people because I fucking know so many of them. And I accepted them. I even let them cut my hair as a, as a youth. I had no problem with that. If, they, if you like sucking dick, that's your deal. That's great. Uh, situation is gay. And you mark my words, eventually he's going to be on the cover of Route Magazine. He is fucking gay. You might have something. He there. sucks a dick. And I can just, I'm telling you he sucks a dick. Yeah, I'll think about it. Let's see. He's always grooming He himself. may have fucking, no. I mean, Never. you know. No woman is, is good enough for him, right? He always he's, I mean, he's definitely bisexual, but uh, as Perry Saturn once said to me in wrestling school, you can fuck a thousand girls, suck a dick, and fuck a thousand girls, and you're still a faggot. Philosopher Perry Saturn. Shit that sticks. Perry, you wouldn't think I'd remember that, but I remember fucking so much shit. I'm sharp as a fucking tack, man. Very good. Here's an intro. Hey, this is this John Rowley. Just they are asshole. You put them in a dick bag. Put them in that bag. There's a bag. Uh, this is the dick bag. Uh, you know we're equal opportunity offenders here. If we had the hoe bag, we got to have the dick bag. Again. Um, <sighs> so weird, man. <laughs> there should be. There should be. That for a few there minutes. should be hair on. For those who are watching, there's a dick on this side. And there's a dick on your side. Uh, there's no dick here and here, so it's just a dick and a dick. <laughs> so, if it were if this were my dick, it would have hair here, but none here because I'm rocking the Harvey Dent. Again, uh, I may be cool with some of these people; they may be dicks anyway. 
I preface that. So if my name's on there, I am a dick, and I'll throw myself in the dick bag that's made out okay. of a big dick. If they're cool, they stay out. If they're a dick, they go in. Pull Hammond. He's a fucking dick. Taz. Taz? I think he would agree he's a dick. Bubba. Again, like I said, he was a dick to a lot of people. Again, he would say he was a Babu. dick. <sighs> that's a tough one. I've never seen him be a dick to anybody. However, uh, and I never told you this, Sabu, uh, when you jumped off the R and the R fucking slipped on the raw fucking thing that we did, the ECW yeah. invasion, um, I really believe since Team Taz was supposed to catch him, he fell short of the mark. Uh, Team Taz didn't catch him, even though he fell short. And little known fact, I was in the back of Team Taz, and my job was to domino Chris Chetty into the aisle so he could throw Mikey Whipwreck back into the ring, although none of these guys that were, Roke wasn't there, uh, never really, I think he receded everybody from Team Taz after that, because I remember getting stiffed a bunch of times and beat up a few times, and I think he receded me for not catching him, even though it wasn't my job to catch him. So Sabu, I didn't, wasn't supposed to catch you, and if it's true, I have a feeling, I'm not saying that you did it on purpose, I have a feeling that you receded me for months after that, mm. so I love you to death, I really do, but for that instance, if it is true, New Jack. I think, uh, again, a lot of people will debate. Um, well, everybody has a story. Um, again, I got, uh, I got nothing personal, but everybody knows it. Raven. Oh, Raven, another one of my favorites. Love him to death, but there was a time where he was undrivable with. I was in the car with him. I couldn't even take him anymore. If I could have thrown him out in the middle of a fucking doing 70 miles an hour or even 55 miles an hour, I would have done it. Just because he talks so much? He, he just had to eat. He was always getting his heat. Uh, you know, uh, would stop and eat, and he couldn't stop at McDonald's. Let's stop at Applebee's. Let's stop at fucking Fuddruckers. Let's stop here. Let's stop there. Let's eat for three hours. Hey, hey, you know, you know, get here. If we get to the building late, ah, just put the heat on me. Just put the heat on me. Get to the building. Why were you guys late? I'm fucking doing and shutting her out, fucking talking this one. So he would just throw us under the bus. So, yeah, we He must have been making a fortune over there with as much as he was eating. He must have been, because I wish I would have had a fucking fraction of that contract, because he would fucking eat. Stevie. Stevie, one of my top ten best friends in the world, probably top five. Um, 